Hello and welcome back to another lecture. Once you have created your IAM user, for your user to have programmatic access, you have to generate an access key and secret access key for your user. To generate an access key and secret access key for the user we created in the previous lecture, select the user. Once you select the user, you will see the user's name here. Select the security credentials tab. Once you have selected the security credentials tab, scroll down. Under Access Keys, click Create Access Key. On this page, you will see the different options for the type of access key you can generate. But for our project, we want to generate an access key that allows us to use the AWS command line interface. So here, we will select Command Line Interface. Once you have select Command Line Interface, scroll down. And here, check this box. Once you've checked the box, click Next. If you want to add a description, you will do so on this page, but we won't add a description and click Create Access Key. And there you go. This is how you generate an access key for your user, and this is also equivalent to giving your user programmatic access. Once you have generated the access key for your user, remember that you only see your user's secret access key the first time you create it. So what you have to do is save it somewhere on your computer. You can either click show here and copy your user's access key and secret access key and save it somewhere on your computer. Please also remember that this credentials is a secret. So make sure you save it somewhere safe on your computer. Think of these credentials as your username and password. And anyone that has access to it can create resources in your AWS account. Also, another thing you can do is download the CSV file for your credentials. To download the CSV file for your credentials, click download CSV file here. When you download the CSV file, it is going to open this Excel file that contains your user's access key ID and secret access key. This is how you generate an access key for your user so that your user can have programmatic access. If you have any questions on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.